Happy Halloween! <laughs> Welcome. It's Swain or Sammy Hammy, depending on how you want to pronounce Sammy that. Hammy. Uh, Sammy Hammy. <laughs> uh, and we thought we'd uh, draft the unusual suspects together uh, for a, a, a rarefied day. Yeah, yeah. a Halloween game. Uh, and uh, I thought the best way to celebrate Halloween was through damnation. <laughs> Uh, the, uh, we're getting a scary bunch of us together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are all damned. Uh, so we played the prototype of this many moons ago, uh, before the event, or possibly during the event. I think it was before the event. Um, regardless, it's it's now arrived with me, and I thought, let's get the gang back together and see how badly we can mess this up. So we are all damned. Each of the characters we're playing is somebody damned to hell, and in one of the upper levels of hell is Dracula's castle. Dun, dun, dun. We've arrived here as the sun sets, and the idea is to survive the night, and it is very much last man standing. I say last man, last man, oh. or in Shay's case, last creepy nun yes. standing. Yes. So we each have our own characters, and the castle is uh, filled with traps and loot, uh, which we will be using to murder each other unto death. Does it have a Dracula in it, though? It does have a Dracula in it. He's right there. Currently, he lives in the vault. Oh, and, yeah. And he's loving life there. Uh, first person in the vault may get a little bit bitten and become a Dracula for a little while. So he's dead and loving it. He is dead and loving it. Good. Well, the way, the way they suggest is you can make a gift of some of your vitality to become the vampire for a certain amount of time. From which body part? Wherever you want. <laughs> so. We're going to enjoy this, Justin. I, <laughs> I'm i playing the professor. Yes. Who's not at all Peter Cushing. Some, you may recognize some of the characters as we play through. Um, but I get to manipulate traps and do a bit of oddball things. You are playing. I'm the collector because I think he's the tallest. He is. So the that's tallest. why that's why I picked him. You know, uh, you fantasy living, living out your life, Lloyd. Living out your fantasy life. Yes, <laughs> Shay. I'm playing as a sister. I get to ignore traps. Yeah. Well, sometimes you get to ignore traps. <laughs> I am playing the vengeful. I basically stab everyone up with my hooked hand. And I'm playing the wanderer, and I roam around, 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 around. <laughs> all right, so you're not walking 500 miles. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so we all start with a hand of three heirloom cards. These could be weapons, they could be protection, they could just be interesting little cards that you can play. But for the start, this is also where we set up. Mm -hmm. So at the top right corner, every card has a room. Pick one of them. Watch all the old do man, not, watch do all the old man reading as do not reveal it far away enough to read them. <laughs> but play it face down, and when everybody has chosen where they're going to play, mm -hmm. we reveal them all, and then we place our villains throughout <laughs> Dracula's castle, and that will be where we're starting. A happy day. Where I put my card? Just down. Just down in front, front of you. Mm -hmm. And if you're ready, then we shall see where people are starting. So Jerry, where so are you starting? I'm going to be starting in the gate, Ooh. right out front. Mm -hmm. Lloydy? The gate. Oh, you went gate oh, as well. Yeah. Cheeky. Right you, out front. You can join me out there. Mm -hmm. I am in the Great Hall. Oh, fancy. Where the feasting happens. Oh, yes. Look at me. I am also in the gate. What the? Wow. <laughs> well, I'm RPG in this to hell. Yes. So I'm totally embracing this game. I'm going to start in the kitchen. Good, <laughs> Good times. <laughs> so, there you go, buddy. Now, for the people who have started in the gate, they get an extra two heirloom cards. Yeah, bitches. Mm. Look, look at them. Oh. Just choose one to discard back. And uh, and it's a little bit of a hand for being far away from things. More and I feel, well, I feel robbed. Well, yeah, I feel robbed. Nobody told me that. Well, what about me in the kitchen? Do I not get like a, you know, like a bottle of wine or... Yeah. No. Oh, okay. No, not at the moment. I will keep this one. There you go, Mr. McGib. Thank you. How can I keep this? Oh, yeah, get rid of that one. Okay. Yeah, I got uh, the right one. The other cards you have in your hands, then, uh, they may be of different types. If mm -hmm. you've got anything that says, uh, like an event or a curse that has to be revealed, then you do so now and tell people what's going on. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we'll be ready to kick off. Mm -hmm. 
There's nah, I think a I'm good. lot of old men here <laughs> squinting at cards. <laughs> it's really hard not to look at your cards. Yeah. Age, age is setting in, guys. It's like, ah! <laughs> oh, that's all good. Right. So we're ready to begin. Yes. Yes? Please go in or back in the hand? No, back to your hand. Sweet. If people were paying attention, they would have seen what, what you've got. But this one? This goes back in my hand? Yes. Oh, oh okay. So I should have four cards then, total? Yes. Oh, excellent. Ready? Yes. yes. You're all going down. Especially you. It's going to start Start with me, since I've got the dice, and that'll teach you. Uh, the game is very simple. All you have to do is survive. Be the last person on their feet. So I will start with rolling the dice. Oh, that's a magnificent roll. Wow. Um, so... I get to move six, and the little brazier means I can plus or minus up to two to that, so I can move up to eight spaces. Uh -huh. uh, now. Did you say you could minus two? I could minus two, so I could move four. Uh -huh. And this is important because you have to move the exact amount. Uh -huh. So you can't go, I've rolled a four, but there's a trap on four, and when you walk three, uh -huh. no, you've got to go the whole lot. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that would be terrible. But I could finish on a seven. I could uh, get is right this a trap? There. All of the little red ones are traps. Okay. And then these are secret passages. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. I could just visit you in there. I think I will. I think I will. Can you tell which character is yours? Yes. <laughs> well, it's clearly not the tallest. Not from that far away. Actually, what I'm actually going to do is this, because this will really annoy people. I'm actually going to finish on that trap. Oh, oh. Okay. And I've got a special ability called Spider's Web, uh -huh. which I will activate my fate already. Yeah. If I land on a trap, I can move that trap along with another of my choice to any empty space on any corridor. Mm -hmm. And I can look at them to see what they are first. So, mm -hmm. so don't mind me, folks. Uh, I'm sure this will all be fine for all of you. I'm sure this won't really stimmy any of you. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's just put that one there. Oh, you get to put the trap somewhere else. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, and yeah. another. And another. Uh, oh, that's... Now, could you have delightful. picked that trap from anywhere? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So I'm you just... could have took a trap from there and moved it over to there if you wanted. Yep. Yeah, yeah I could do. And, and, I'm, and I might later on. Mm -hmm. Handy dandy. But that is all of me, so it's going to go... Quick question. Yes. The fates. Yes. Are they per game round or once per game? Once per game, unless you refresh them. Ah. Mm -hmm. And you refresh them either by playing cards or using souls, or if you enter the master bedroom up here, um, you refresh any that are in there. Cool. So Coming some people there. have different ways. Oh, there's things that I should have read on this. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> That's why I handed it to you a long time ago. I went read that. Yeah, one and a special symbol. So you can't go lower than one, but you could go up as far as three with that. As in what move? As as a move, but it has to be a complete. So your choice so is one, two, three. Yes. Yeah, so throw me in the passage. So if he goes to there, is that a wee trap door? That, that is. Passage. That is a secret passage, and you can move to any other secret passage, or you can just leave yourself there. That's fine. Where's the vampire? Do we know? He's Do you want there. to currently in the vault? Yeah. So here. All right. Can we kill if, the vampire? If they're the no. front passage. Then that would be the back passage. Yes. Yeah, put me in the back passage. Okay, I will gladly put you in the back passage. There you go. Okie dokie. Happy days. You can play any abilities or cards or anything you have in your hand, but this early in the game, I wouldn't. Uh, I get the sense that we're kind of just like aimlessly wandering around at the moment, Terry. Is there anywhere we're actually supposed to go? No, or... you just need to murder everybody. Oh, yes. okay then. There, there's, 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 there's no aimless wandering here. <laughs> Remember I'm, your old video gaming days. I'm, death match. I'm okay. looking for somebody to kill. All right, okay. Yeah. Okay. Shame. Okay. Yeah. So, let's see what we get. Ooh. Uh, three. Ooh. Three. Uh, three uh, whatever that is. Spooky Castle. So, Spooky Castle is a castle card, and these go off first before mm -hmm. you do anything. So, Dark Tunnel, Questionable Masonry, Jagged Rocks, Angry Bats. Dare you take the journey? You can suffer two damage to ignore your movement dice and instead move to an empty secret door space or straight to the vault and become the vampire. Oh, oh. The choice is yours, Shay. <laughs> oh. What do you no. choose? Oh. Now, I will say you're on a ticking clock when you become the vampire and you can't enter rooms. You can only stop the oh. corridors. So it's a case of you need to get out, find people to bite. Ah, um, you, whams, your, yeah. whams, you need to get your timing right on this. What happens so. if he doesn't bite people, does he die? Uh, if he doesn't get back to the vault at the end of five turns, then he just crumbles into ash and oh. his poor little oh. character is where, where is the vault? There. It's oh, way along the vampire. He's in it. 
No. No, the vampire's, vampire's, the vampire's in it. <laughs> she is... She is great. Great. But if he the becomes a vampire, so he then has yes. to make his way back. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so oh, is yeah. there anyone near enough that she thinks he could get a nibble on? There's someone in the kitchen there. Well, I'm up in the back kitchen, passage. Back yeah. kitchen. You're up the back, back passage. I'd love to join you in the back passage. Bob. Can he get into my back passage? He, uh, he can't take trapdoors and the like, no. He oh. just has to run oh. through the corridor and it's oh. a long run to reach yeah. you in the back passage there. Does the vampire move differently? Yes. Okay. 2d6 and then they've also got cards that have the special abilities that they can fast. Fast, yeah. yeah. Ooh. I don't think it's that useful this early on, Jerry. I don't think no. Close enough. no, I wouldn't. No. I mean, no. there is there is one card that would let you attack people in certain rooms, but oh. I don't know if it would, you'd have to deal it randomly. Yeah. So the fact that somebody's in the kitchen, you know, there's a lot of cards there and you might not get the one that you need to absolutely devour. Kitchen dwelling, wandering uh, man there. You're safe for now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. You'd be only friend. interrupting me devouring what's in the kitchen anyway. <laughs> so I think. <laughs> I'm just going to go three, I think. Yes. So one, two, and three mm. for myself. If you don't, I will say at no point should anybody ever contemplate going into the Great Spiral Staircase. That way, like death. Yeah. That's yes. A oh. Once you get in there, it's almost impossible to get out. And if you reach the bottom, you just die. So why would you go in there? You, you can kick people you can in there. You kick yeah. people in there. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. okay. Someone okay. kicked me in last time we played this. Yep. I got uh -huh. out of the last step. <laughs> for myself. Ooh, big six. 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 six, and more importantly, darkness, oh. which means any oh. trap you pass over, you automatically activate. Is it imprisoning oh. him, though? That's why you don't oh, you're, the... you're, you're, oh, 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 Justin, that didn't go well. That didn't go well. Oh, I yeah. am, however, going to use my fate yes. uh -huh. to re-roll my die, and I may add or remove one from the roll. Yes. So I assume it's just the D6? Yes. Yeah. You assume correctly. For fun. Oh, you're still goose. You're still goose. <laughs> you're still <laughs> goose. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, well, oh, I'm just going to go. Terrible misadventure. One, two, three. Do oh. I stop on the trap? Oh, you'll stop on the trap. Yeah. All right. Let's see what our trappy trap is. It might be good. It's a bear trap. A bear trap. That's only three damage hey, hey. oh you can leave it there <laughs> all right it, it's not gone old fellow and other right. people can stamp on that later on all right so we start on 10 oh, and yes. now on seven yes oh. okay what, what happens when he hits zero does he become nosferatu no you die no you die oh. by that point you may become a because he looks like a nosferatu even now <laughs> at that point you may become a, a haunt a ghost an old revenant creeping around my go yes indeed there we go Let's see what the kitchen brings me. Candle. So five and the candle allows you to add or subtract one. So okay. you could move four, five, or six. Okay. Right. Entering okay. any room uh -huh. gives you a card from the room. <laughs> now, you're very close to the torture chamber, which is great. Some yeah. of the best stuff is in there. However, there's also a card called the Iron Maiden, which is an instant kill if you happen to pull it. So while it's a great room to be in, it's not a great room to be in. What, the kitchen? Yeah. The torture chamber. All right. This but looks like some major contemplation trying to leave the kitchen. Fortune favors the brave. That's here. what they tell me. So I could make my way around to the cemetery. Mm -hmm. Or I could make my way to the vault. Yes. Will or the vampire kill me? or No, it won't kill you, but like I say, you'll take four damage right off the bat. You'll become the vampire, and then you'll have to try and catch people. Yeah, still a bit you, early for that. You could come with me in one of these back passages. Lloyd has got a... He's blocked the back passage there, hasn't he? I can't squeeze in. If, if you don't have the movement to get through it and past him. But there's uh, one there. You could get two of yeah, us in yeah, the back passage. I could. But if I did that, though... You know, can I can I shiv him? Shiv him or? Do you have a weapon? Did you pick up a weapon as an heirloom? It would be in your cards. Because if not, no. Uh, <laughs> the answer is no. Mm -hmm. um, right. I'm going to try and go. So let me see. I've got five. I can move six. Yes. Yeah? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'd start making my way towards the torture chamber. You could. You could make your way towards it. And you say that it's mostly bad. It's mostly good, but there's one really bad. Thing. There's one absolutely horrific card, which is just goes straight to being a dead ghost thing. Do not pass go. Do not collect 200 souls. Question, Jerry. Yes. Uh, should I have moved 
beyond the trap or does it stop me? Stops you. Completely? Yes. Okay. Yeah. This is, yeah. Mm. You really want to start exploring rooms to try and find weapons yeah. so you can muller people. Okay, so I could also reach the courtyard. Yes. And um, if I, I and I could actually get to there, so I could mm. go one, two, three, four, five, six, yes. and get into the courtyard. Yes. And can I get something from there? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. These cards are available for every room. All right, well then so. I'm going to the courtyard. I'll give you that, uh -huh. as long as it doesn't say something like events that you must immediately declare to us. No. Then that's that's okay. yours. Nobody can take that away from you. Okay. Happy. No, wait. Am I? Right. I'm going to show the viewers at home this card. Oh, okay. Just so, okay. It, so as we can. So it's a, a Crusader sheet. Yes. But it says, while I'm in that, I have to reduce my hand by one. Okay. So does that mean I have to get rid of one of the things that I've got? Yes. It okay. also has this symbol up here, which means it has to be played revealed. Uh-huh. So, but while you've got it, you've got protection of 10 up there. Uh-huh. Which is nice. Um, discard this card to ignore a talent that a player is targeting you with. That's very nice. Mm -hmm. So if somebody has something that may fist you in some way, you yeah. can do that. So I need to get rid of one of these cards then? Yeah. Okay. But, you just, right. but that one stays in front of you revealed, so everybody knows you've got a shield. Okay. And anybody attempting to hit you will have to do quite a lot of damage to remove that. Uh-huh. Um, Massive axe from the torture chamber would be great. Mm -hmm. Who wants to go and pick? You should pick that up. I went to the torture chamber last right, I'll time. get rid of that one. <laughs> okay, I stayed there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Back to you. Okie dokie. There you go, sir. Right. Our survey says three. That's not ideal. I'm going to burn another talent to run for it, to add up to four to my movement and go one, two, three, four. And then my dice roll takes me into the master bedroom, which is always good for laugh. And when I enter this bedroom, I can refresh the fate talent token. So I'd like to take spider's web back, please because I really like to move traps around and not stand on them myself. That's great. And then, from the master bedroom, I'm going to have one of these. Oh, oh don't, don't worry about that. No. <laughs> I don't even know why you're concerned. <laughs> on you go, Lord. don't follow me into the bedroom. I'm an old man, old and bent. Three and a candle. Plus or minus one. So a two or a four. Four would be good. You can take out that trap. Can, I, right can I just get out of the back passage then and just go anywhere I want? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll go. Oh, I can't walk over traps now. You can because you got oh, camp. Okay. It's only if you stand one, on them when it's One, two, three, four. There we go. Or if you're in entire darkness like oh. Justin was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was blindly stumbling forward going, yeah. Oh, oh dear. Flat tables are difficult you're, you're for you. Too, you're too tall now, Lord. You're top heavy. I think it's slippy since it came out of the back pass. Oh, that makes sense. That's <laughs> that makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> Shabu. Yeah. Something good this time. Oh, that's more like it. Ooh. Six in darkness. That's more like it. Darkness is good for the nun, though. It is. It's very good. Uh, my passive ability, I can, if I roll a darkness, I can move any number of spaces, ignoring that, in a straight line. So I could just go down this corridor. Oh. Although you would, you would trigger. But I would trigger the traps, yes. <laughs> However. <laughs> However, my shadow ability, change the result of a darkness die, you've rolled to your darkness symbol, and I don't trap, don't do any traps. Just ignore them. So that's, that's interesting, isn't it? Quite nice, yeah. Quite like that. Um, decisions, so decisions. Six, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I'm just going to move the six. Yeah. So, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh -huh. Screaming nunnery. Six and a candle. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will go. Yes. And I will leave it at that. What, what is it? The red thing you landed on? No, I moved Oh, no, the that's where a trap there. used to go. So, they oh, mark wow. where traps are initially deployed. Uh -huh. Okay. Right. Four and a candle. Four candles. Four candles. Candles. <laughs> candles for folks. For me folks. Right. Um, uh, can I search the courtroom again? Or the courtyard? Or? Not when you're in there. Oh. Although, 
the first time you go in, obviously draw a card, you have we all have an ability called Ransack that lets mm -hmm. you burn health to get extra cards. Uh -huh. uh, it might be good. It might be terrible. You just don't know. Yeah. So if I can go five. Yes. Right. If I get up to the nun. Yes. I. Can I do something to the nun? If you can get adjacent, you can claim the power of adjacency. Uh -huh. um, and then that allows you to control the nun's movement next turn to push them into a terrible corridor of damnation, push them into a vault with a vampire, throw right. them into, you know, okay. there's all sorts of things so you can do. So I can move five, yes. right? But I have run for it, mm -hmm. okay? Which means I can add another four yeah. to that. Um, so if I play run for it, yeah. um, so that would be one, two, three, four, five. Yep. One, two, three, four. That puts me there. Yes. Yeah? Uh -huh. And then claiming the power of adjacency, I imagine. Yeah. Yes. I don't like this. <laughs> no. So I claim the power of adjacency. And then can I play a card? You can always play cards, yeah. I'm curious now as to what's going to be played. Um, When controlling a villain using power, can I do more than one of these? Oh, you can burn as many as you want during your turn, but... Have I now got control of him as power of adjacency? Yes. Okay, so when controlling a villain using power of adjacency, deal two unblockable damage to that villain and add D6 to their movement total. Oh, oh that's... That is Ooh. filthy. So I play that now so that whenever... You can play that now or play it whenever because you've claimed it whenever it comes around to Shea. Whenever, okay. Whenever's easiest, but we know it's we know it's coming. You know it's coming. You know okay. it's coming. I don't like you very much. <laughs> I don't understand why you would. <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, right. Let's try and find something better. Do you know how else. much sympathy I've got for you? How much? None. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. That is... That's appalling. I love it. I love it so much. Right. Let's leave this place. Um, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. And then I'm going to pop out there. Oh, nice. And then go one, two into the trophy room. Oh. Let's see what the trophy room has. Don't worry about me. I found a trap door. Suddenly I find myself at the mercy of my old foe. Gravity. Oh no! <laughs> Your suffer, one weakness. Suffer two unblockable damage and plummet all the way down the board to the dungeon. Boom. Okay. That was. You get around. Unexpected. Don't you? I do. <laughs> for an old for an old man, I move like a whippet. Absolute whippet. Right, Lloyd. See if you can do better than throwing yourself down a hole in the ground. Don't feel you have to though. If you if you feel the urge to throw yourself down a hole in the ground, go over. Three and a flame. Flame is plus or minus two. So that's a one or a five. Man, this up is two. fun. Up to. Yeah, so it gives you some flexibility yeah. there. What happens if we all get in a big group here? Can I get adjacency over other people? The last person to claim power of adjacency gets it. So if you got up to the nun. You could claim it, which is why I'm, I say wait until they activate to activate oh, that, because it could be taken away it from could you. Be taken away. But yeah, I am going to add four to my turn mm -hmm. by using that. Run for it, and then that will allow me to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which gets me to here. Yes. So I can take adjacency over him. Part, okay, claim power of adjacency over him. Okay. Yes. Is that Warren? That's, that's Warren, Warren. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that won't go terribly wrong. Mm. Save me. <laughs> Flinging each other into traps. Oh. Okay. Mm. Yeah, me. Hi, Warren. I got three in darkness. Darkness again? Yes. Now, Warren. Mm -hmm. Here's how this works. Yes. They've ruled that. You can choose where they go. That little space is like a conveyor belt. Yes. Forcing them into that room oh, no. if they finish on it. Yes. So oh. you can just throw the nun. It's directly onto it. You could throw it onto one of the um, traps behind you, but I think they ignore it as a passive ability. Uh, right. So, Warren, so Warren, Warren chooses, yeah. so can Warren, she use his feet? Uh, can he? Can he? Yes. But Warren yeah. has control of 
Shay, and yes. I have control of Warren. Yes. yes. So okay. whenever Warren moves, you <laughs> you will choose the direction. So it's it's entirely up to Shay as to whether it's like or not a human centipede thing going on. <laughs> no, yeah, really. Yeah, 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 yeah. So so you can reroll the you can reroll the movement dice. Yes. He still gets to pick it, and he can still roll an additional d6 if he feels the urge to. Because if you roll really high, this could be a you're getting heaved straight into the vault to be eaten by the vampire. That's style. absolutely fine. I don't mind getting nom nom by a vampire. I'm going to feel it oh. and re-roll the movement dice. Uh -huh. If you get three again, that'd be terrible. Two. 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 That's all right. That works. Okay. Oh, so he can move you less? Yes. That's actually Which, precisely what you needed. Yeah. <laughs> then he's not going to end up in a... Not going to end up being pushed into the spiraling pit of death. Or any trap. Right. So, Unless, of course, Warren well, rolls sorry, a d6. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And gets a one, in which case that'll be really annoying. Oh, <laughs> okay. So or one, two, three, four. So a one oh. or a two will still put you in that pit. A can one I, or a two. Can, can I run for it? Run straight past it, please. You, you need and to decide to before. Four. And if Warren has control, I would assume he controls yep. that. Oh, nah, it's fine. It's okay, good. so I need a one, a one or a two. A Fire one or a two, yes. Oh, a five. Thank okay. five. So, so seven, seven spaces so seven. you get to play with. Right, let's see then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, there's no reason you can't just walk him in there on seven. Well, that's what yeah. I was thinking. Yeah. Can I not just walk yeah, him yeah, in? Yeah. All right, there we go then. Sorry, One, Shay, I tried, two. buddy. Boom! Yeah. <laughs> Boom! Works. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Shay, I, I suggest you start practicing because you'll uh -huh. require a d6 oh. roll of a six to get out of there. Otherwise, you're going down, down, deeper and down. Okay. I love the good thing is, Shay, he did pick the highest step for you. Oh, well, and he's no choice. Two has, unblockable has damage, by the way, Shay. Okay. Oh, it's always the highest when you win there? Yep. Don't do your health, no. Uh, help. <laughs> I mean, that's that's delightful. De lovely. Uh, three and a candle. So I will be going yep. one, two, three, four. Yes. And before you draw anything, yes. I have a torn diary. Okay. So uh, the mad scribblings reveal the location of a powerful artifact. Sure. Uh, on entering the master bedroom, instead yes. of drawing a card, search for the Holy Cross, if available, and take it into my hand. Oh, very nice. Right. Okay. I just hope Jerry didn't get it when he went in. Oh, did you pilfer it? My done. <laughs> if I just go ahead and just draw the top one and just hand it to you because I know what's in my hand. Oh, There's okay. no point in me shuffling <laughs> through that. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, well, I still get something. Oh, brilliant. That's not the Holy Cross <clears throat> of the wee girl from The Exorcist used, is it? Uh, it might be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Yep. <laughs> right, now, this is a weapon and it's giving me a specific location where I have to attack someone. No. No? It gives you the option. You can't attack in any room except the courtyard normally. Certain weapons will allow you to attack in certain rooms, ah. but you can still attack in any corridor like normal. Okay, mm -hmm. important then. All right, I do I... Got a razor. I'm going to burn one to ransack. Okay, give me, give take me. another. Could be horrible. Oh no, it's fine. It's very nice. I mean, what are the chances the Brides of Dracula are in the master bedroom? Hi, very high. <laughs> Don't worry about it though. Well, I will actually burn this now. Okay. Laudanum. So uh, play at the end of your turn and only in a standard room. Gain six health until your next turn you can be attacked mm -hmm. while in a room. Mm, okay. I would like to play a card. When's Justin's finished, I think. Yes. Play during any other villain's turn, including the vampire, reverse the turn order. Okay. Oh, so I'll oh. swing back through Shay now. Ooh. Don't I knew your turn. <clears throat> what? Denied you, your turn. you have denied me my turn, yeah. but you were going to control me anyway. Yeah, you control him on his turn. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing! This is fantastic! <laughs> well, you, you're actually doubling down because you're not giving up that power over him while denying him the Yeah, turn. it's going to come back to me. All right, yeah. he still has agency. Uh, 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 unless uh, somebody else comes and claims it yeah. off him. Yeah. So yeah. even if he walks away from him now, he still has it? No. no. Do I? Oh, okay. If I walk away? Oh, oh, oh that's okay. No that's okay. That's okay. You don't have to stand beside someone going like this, but <laughs> you're <laughs> no, you, you just you just claim it until it's used or somebody takes it from. Oh, oh uh, and while I'm in him. here, yes. I get to take this back. Yes. Okay, Shay. Right, I've got a six to roll then, have I? You've got a six to roll. Uh, if you haven't counted, there's twenty one steps in there. That's so good. so if you can't roll a six, roll low. 
because if you hit the bottom, then can, it all goes badly wrong. Can I use cards? Uh, it depends what the card is. Well, I'll roll first. Because you can't... You know the way some cards say you can add plus one to your roll? Yes. It doesn't count as rolling a natural six for yes. getting out of that pit. Okay. So, but if you've well, got... I think, I think I have a card If you have does. a card that yes. allows you to do something... I'll roll again. just in case I don't have to use it. Sure. I do have to use it. Do you have to use it? Loaded dice. Yes. Change a single die roll you make to a number or symbol of your choice. So that is 100% the best roll you can make. Fantastic. So, so <laughs> take your backside out to oh. that building. Is it over here? It's wherever you want it to be. Oh. It's because you're just leaving the room, the people. and then yes, and way. then you run your six. So that's one. So oh. you've got five more. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Did you roll the darkness dice? And what did you get in the darkness I dice? Did not. I no, brazier. Let's so there's another two yeah. there. Let's, so let's, let's see him on the other camera two. there, Jay. Show so me. You're running away from us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't have a weapon yet. <laughs> I'm about to hopefully get one because my brazier I'm going to move into there. Oh, get the trophy card. room. Yeah. Be lucky. Hope it's something like a crossbow or a whip. A whip you can do, use in the dark would be quite good. Mm, it's not a weapon. No. So it's all right. No. Do you want to do you want to poison yourself, burn yourself, cut yourself to get more oh, stuff? Oh, I could, couldn't I? Oh yeah. yeah you know what? I'll you've got tons of health. I'll ransack one. Yeah. I've already yeah. taken two damage. Might yeah. as well take it. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? I mean, you've got seven left. Why wouldn't you? Uh, oh. Oh. Aha! My life token. I was wondering where that had went. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's quite nice. I'll keep that. Thank you very much. Okay, okay. Where do you want my loot dice? I'll just take that back. Is that an heirloom? Mm. And that's me. Okay. Aha! Back right. to me! Lloyd. How do I shove Warren over? Uh, you don't. It's on his movement that you... That oh, you get to his movement. Direct so him. you get to do your own stuff now, and then yeah. when it's in, you go. Can I walk past him? Yeah. As long as you don't Where's my dice? There we go. Flame on a one. Ooh, no, that's a castle. Castle, castle event. On a one. Mm -hmm. Castle event is the dread shadow. You catch a shadow out of the corner of your eye. As you do, every fibre of your being screams in unison, run! You must enter a room this turn if your movement allows you to do so. Does not. Oh, one, you're so... So unlucky because the uh, the only room you could make it to there is the, yeah. the staircase yeah. of terribleness. <laughs> but as things stand, you've got a mighty one. Well, I could do a fate. Could reroll a die. You may add or remove one from this roll. Yes, you're well, kind of taking your liking hands doing that. No, well, well, really. Like, there's, there's, there's a, a not really because he's yeah. There's a, a, there's screwed a, there. There's a ton of rooms behind. Could play it. that and reroll the die. You only reroll one of them. Yeah, yeah, just the red. Oh, just the red. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Six. Okay. Plus seven, so I can run away. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. The castle doesn't give you a plus. No. No, I got Fate a plus does. here. Oh, oh right, yeah. Fate. Okay. So I can run seven. Yep. Yes. You could throw yourself into the kitchen of oh, the great hall. Yeah, probably that's what I'm gonna have to do. One, two, three, yep. four, five, six, seven. <gasps> okay. Great hall. There you go. Be do, lucky. I, do I tell people or keep this Only secret? if it says it's an event that you ha or something you have to reveal, like a, a terrible curse, like a ball and chain being tied around your legs so we can push you into the moat. Whatever is easiest. No, it's good. No, I don't no. need to tell no, no. nobody no. things. No, no, it's like that, is it? Were you looking? No. Are you sure about that? <laughs> do, you, do you want to bleed yourself some? Get some more cards before uh, you hand over your turn. What is the hand like? Oh, don't worry about the hand. Okay. Uh, if, if you want to you go ham on that, you can go ham. Uh, no, I'm good. No? Okay. No fun anymore. I remember when you used to be cool. Ah, <laughs> oh, where am I? Five in, and a flame. In the dungeon. I mean, I shouldn't. And yet, at the same time, I can't resist. One, two, three. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, oh, no. Oh, hello. Oh, here we go. Hello, Torch Chamber. Is he dead? I'm not dead. Oh. I, do have, <laughs> I do have to reveal it, though. Uh-huh. And it's the bloody axe. <gasps> it... It's a relic, Ooh. so it stays with me, unlike other weapons. If they don't have the little relic crown, they're one and done. They're one, one mm -hmm. use jobs. Um, deals eight damage if I swing it at people. I have to be beside them, though, because I've only got a range of one. And uh, good news, I suffer two damage when drawing this spiky weapon. Oh. Spiky Shinky. weapon. How did you know you had to reveal that? Did it specifically uh, say reveal? it has that little... Oh, hold on. Beholder reveal. No, nah, it doesn't have that. Yeah. Uh, nope, it does not have it. So, see, I'm 
glad I pointed that one out right at the very start of the game, that you just all ignore me whenever I'm talking. Yep. That's how this goes, isn't it? Yes, yeah. of course. <laughs> right. Heard them cats. Um, me. Yes. You. And it would be surprised to hear that I won't be burning any any blood to try and draw more stuff from Torture Chamber, because that way life there madness you go, Lordy. death. We've got a castle. a castle. So the castle first. Let's see. Requiem. Requiem! This is actually really filthy. Uh, so, in the distance, screams, followed by silence. Mm -hmm. Shuffle the Torture Chamber deck and place a soul token in that room. Reveal a death knell card. If all the death knell are revealed, uh, you suffer two damage. And then we shuffle this back into the deck. Now, we haven't revealed any death knell cards yet. No. Fun. So, there is your choice. They do not have to be done in any order at all. Mm -hmm. Every one of them is terrible. Okay. And they apply to me? They apply to oh. everyone. And they can they, ah. they can do things like speed up movement or speed up killing or just terrible, terrible oh. stuff. I'm going to go straight up the middle. And Pretty it's different. called Carnage. All weapons now deal 10 damage. Oh, Whoa. oh instant kills. Instant kills Gurgo. Oh, no. I'm just going to go ahead and pop a little soul mm -hmm. in there, mm -hmm. which, if anybody's paying attention, I will be stealing as soon as it comes back around to me. However, first things first, Lloyd, you've got three move on, uh, on Warren's mm -hmm. Wanderer there that you can use. Oh, and how far can I make a move? Three? Three. 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 So you could. Three is the number, not Sorry. two, Don't nor four. You you could, the number is three. <laughs> Where's Justin? I'm away over here. Oh. Hiding in the master bedroom. How do I get Warren over there? You, you get me as close to this trap door so I can come out. Why are you sending passage. him after me? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have a weapon. One, two, three. Ah, uh, you're no fun. You could have oh. put him in the stairwell. No, he couldn't. Yeah, he could. You were here. One, two, three. Oh, he could have. All right. <laughs> I tried to point oh, it out and said he's just like, no, let people murder Justin. <laughs> it's good for I'm a no longer the Alpha Strike, it's sitting beside you. <laughs> oh. Speaking of. Yes. Your turn, mister. <laughs> he just called you the office bike, did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Six and darkness, unfortunately. Yes, Ooh. well, I mean, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you know what, just for funsies, I'm going to warp. So. Uh, if you end your movement in a corridor or space that's adjacent to a standard room, you may immediately move to that room. Oh. Boom. Into the Great Hall. Into just kind of wibbled through the wall. Yes. Into the Great Hall, which is one of those. Groovy. Thank you kindly. Do you want to carve yourself up a bit more? At this point, <laughs> since all weapons cause 10 damage, there's no point in hanging on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll just take another. Don't worry about it. Should probably do it again. Very nice. You should bleed yourself out. Oh no, I'm happy with that. I would keep going until you find a weapon that you can murder him with in the Great Hall before he gets a chance to murder you in the Great oh, Hall. I'm, I'm, I'm quite content. You sure? I'm quite content. Positive. Yes, there's very. There's blood left in you. Well, I know there's, there's too lot. much blood left in you. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> I know, but I want to save that for other spicy right. rooms. Right, all right. Fair enough. Shay? On to me? Yes. Right. Do the Lord's own work, Shay. Two in the darkness. That's not great. I uh, mean, it could be worse. It could be worse. You're indeed correct. Oh, where do I even go with this? Port of Porto teleport. Um, yeah, you know what? I'll go one, two, and then just whoop. away from it. Run away! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not having any of you near me. <laughs> I'm staying that's in hardly, my corner. That's hardly fun at all. Right, Lord. <sighs> Do I have to move out of the room or can I stay in the room I'm in? No, you have to move. Oh, I have to move out of the room? Must move. Can I do anything in the room before I leave? Nope. So he can't attack Justin? Unless he's got a weapon that allows him to attack specifically in the Great Hall. Uh, the only room you can attack in is the courtyard. Oh, so you'll do all your attacks in the corridors? Yes. Yes, uh, unless your card says you can do it in that specific room. Or the death knell tells you you can, because yeah. sometimes that crops up as well. Fun. And are there many different death knells, or is it always these five? Oh no, there are a load. Fantastic. Oh, so, it, so there's a lot of replayability in this game. Yeah, yeah. Three and a candle. So, plus or minus one. So it's a four candle. Four candle. What happens if I go in the back passage? 
Will I be in his same back passage as Jay? You no, need you, you need you can't come out the same one. Yeah. It's already filled. But he went well, out the he, front passage. But can I stick him when I'm in the back passage? Can he stick him in the back passage? Uh, if you finish adjacent to them, or depending on if you've got range on a weapon. Mm. But considering where you are, oh, I can't get to and the back passage. You can't get to it. Mm. You would need to have a five or six there. At and least. I have to move the whole distance or some of my distance. You have to move. Whatever that is, minimum so three, minimum possibly three. No, no, minimum, sorry, minimum two, minimum two, two, oh three, or four. Because you can plus two, or minus. Three, four. There we go. There we go. Okay. Decisions made. Where are you coming from? My back passage. Who knows? It looks comfy in there. <laughs> Who knows? Spacious. Is it me? It is. Well, I guess chance to kill anyone, or will I kill mm. myself in the room of death? Death room. One and a flame. <sighs> That's a bit dull, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, one, two, three. Uh, two, four, six away from you. Do I want to reroll that dice? I think I'm going to use fate to reroll the dice. Does Lloydy still have adjacency over me or agency no. or whatever? No, no he used it once. One and done. Okay. Just the once. I will burn a fate to allow me to roll that. That's still not great, but I can two. increase ah, that. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I can increase that to three. Three! Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> so, one, two, three, four. Oh, damn you, all the hell. Mm. In case you missed it, Jerry whispered, damn you all to hell. Damn you all to hell. Well, we're already there. Are we there yet? Yes. Oh, if I would have got a six, I could have murdered you, Warren. Mm. Uh, as things stand, I think I'm going to go into... Uh, Hide in the dungeon. Mm. Does the dungeon give cards as well? Wait for oh yeah, wait for somebody to come to me. Oh, I'm having that soul before I go. By the way, because there's no way I'm not. Oh, I've been cursed. Oh great! Suddenly it all becomes so clear. Must have lives, lives for the master, <laughs> the master. When I enter the dark tower with at least three soul tokens, I immediately win the game. Oh, oh. Well, I'm already one of those. <laughs> I am, however, cursed. That's right. That's annoying though. I really wanted to kill someone. Me? Yes, unfortunately. Unfortunately so. If you want to come closer to me so I can hit you with this axe, that would be good. Let's see what I've got. Four in a darkness. Four. Ah, ah, ah. You could run across a trap there right behind you. Or you could run back into the kitchen. So you don't need the exact number to go into a room, just enough to pass the door to walk in? Yes. Grant. That's how somebody got shoved down the well of the spiral staircase earlier. Yeah. Um, so, let me think this through. If I go in... Right. There's one on the front and two... No, no, no. Two in the back. No, there's not. There's one on the back. There's one on the front. If I go into that back passage and then come out... That right passage. Yes. And then go into there and attack. Oh no, I can't attack. Unless yeah, you've got a weapon. weapon. Yeah. Unless I've got a weapon. You might draw one. But I might draw a weapon, but is there many weapons in the Great Hall? Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. I don't know what other people have got. You and if I lucky. draw one and then attack with it, yes. can I do all that all in the same turn? Yes. Yeah? When, no, sorry. When you enter a room, just like when you body uh -huh. up to somebody, You've got a choice. You either attack or you claim the power of adjacency. If you're attacking in a room, you either uh, attack them or draw a card. Okay. So if you don't have a card already. So if I don't have one already, I can't just yep. muscle my way in there. No. Okay. And where is the best room for, it's the torture chamber, isn't it? It is. It's the torture chamber. Um, and I can't really get to the torture chamber. No. At this point, I would just go and... Uh, Claim adjacency. Well, no, you can't do it in a, in a room. All oh, right, okay. So it's just out in the corridor. Yeah, so it's I'd, nibble into the kitchen. I'd throw myself into the, the kitchen. Home. Yeah. Look for something in there. You never Run know your luck. the kitchen. Okay. And kitchen. Kitchen. Kitchen yard. Do you want another? It'll only cost you a little bit. Uh -huh. Just 10 cc's. Yep, let's go for another one. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? I have a sting suspicion death. What's the worst that could happen? Poison stew. A pit straight into the moat. 
Yeah. Okay. Um, and I have another one. It's like having an like you can eat buffet. <laughs> but at, the, at this stage, he just needs to find a weapon. Yeah. Because the weapons will instant kill anybody you can get beside. Yeah. So, and at the moment, I, Lloyd might have one. He's got a massive shield which will stop all the incoming. So. Okay. Um, uh, do I have to play? It's an event card, so I play yes. it immediately. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, the crones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your points are Something wicked this way comes. Like that. Search the castle deck for lightning storm and put it into play after shuffling that deck. Okay. Look at the top two cards of a room deck this is and it. return them to the top or bottom in any order. And then suffer two unblockable damage. Brilliant. Okay. So I can look at the top two cards of... They're terrible. Absolutely terrible. Hey, you handed it to <laughs> I me. I put it there so it didn't get shuffled So what do I do with this then? I just, it gets discarded. Right? So if I looked at the top two cards of the kitchen deck, because yes. I'm already in there. Yes. Okay. Keep bleeding himself. And while he looks at that, lightning storm. As lightning illuminates your surroundings, you dare say you were happier in the dark. Villains may add or remove one from their movement total. This stays in, um, remains in play until another castle event is drawn. So, Ooh, fantabulous. Not bad. It's going to make it easier to see each other, to stab each other up. Well, yes. Oh, yay. What did it say? I was too busy going like that. <laughs> you, you, you get an automatic <laughs> plus or minus one to your movement. Everybody? Everybody. Oh, yeah. All the time. On top of whatever you roll on the darkness dice. Okay. Right. I'll just set them there. And then I'll take my two damage. Like a good boy. Okie dokie. Right, I'm done. Done, dusted. Yes. Done and dusted. Just dead. Yeah, well. Come on, something good. Candle. Three! Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, so that's. Cur currently, as little as one, as many as five. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Hi, Lodi. Hello. Ooh. I'm going to make a reroll there. Can I make him reroll that? I have no idea. It all depends what you've got in your hand. <coughs> uh, I hope so, because I think he's got a weapon and you're about to be Focus mullied. on any other player, including the vampire player, to reroll a die they have they have rolled. Okay. Can, Can I make him do that again then? Well, yes. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. And then you run past me. Two. Ah, oh, bollocks. So, so he can't. His choices are to ah. stop on the trap or Whatever. run for it. Remember, he gets one plus um, one for the. That's we were already adding up. Oh, yep. okay. I'm going to burn my the... run for it. Do you have there anyone? You. Oh, where do I put so, this card that I've burned? It's discarded. Mm -hmm. So, Letty. Hold on. Razor across your neck. <laughs> <laughs> and this one does have the crown, so it will stay in play. Relic? Yes. Good. Nice. Oh. Delightful. The most important thing is, do you have any protection? No. Do you have I've anything a, to prevent you from being killed up to death? I've got a weapon. That's not going to help you in this no. instance. You're, oh. you're about to be killed. You're about to be mullered. You go from 10 all the way down to zero because of that I death now, because of carnage. Hello, carnage. So, right. he gets lifted. Uh -huh. I'll let you lift that off, Lloyd, because it's yours. Trying to figure out where it was. Yeah, I don't. What's think a range of one? Is that one further away from me? No, it's it's the adjacent. Yeah. Can I use this target a villain without? Oh, he's got tokens. It, it. I'm dead. <laughs> I think it just died. Wait. Yes, yes, she did just die. First blood. Do, do you want to lift that? No. Well, let me rephrase that. Lift that. Well, okay. <laughs> Put them there in like a coven. Yeah, you can if you want. Flip over your card. That one. Oh, can I come back? Oh, you can. You're, oh, I thought I was out. No, no, no. You're now a revenant. Oh. And uh, if you hadn't thrown stuff on the floor, God, you oh, made, I you, get to play oh, on. Oh, that was that was very ham-fisted of you, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Now Lloyd is going to follow me around the castle, annoying the shit out of me. So every turn, you get a chance to resurrect or to upset people by the medium of of the uh, the haunting deck. However, there's one other thing you need to do, <laughs> which is pick a death knell card. Pick you a death knell card because you died. Oh, you just, the, this one right beside Justin. The thing of the dong. 
Let's see what you got. Oh, wow. The nightmare. So, here. So, whenever a player rolls the darkness symbol, their villain suffers one damage. Oh, that sucks for me. Ooh, that, that's my entire ability. That will be mm-hmm. a little bit. I'm quite happy I didn't bleed well, myself out. Oh. How are you feeling there, Warren? I'm okay. It's fine. It, well, I mean, uh, it's, okay. it's only a one in three chance that you'll mm-hmm. run it. And you're only going to come round every so often, so I wouldn't worry about that. Right. That was you, so it's Shana. Yeah, yeah, on me. King of the darkness now. Uh, let's see what we can get. Do I get any bonus for having murdered someone? Oh, you get their cards that they were carrying. Oh, and yes. Not that one. Don't give them that one. Right. <laughs> no, that one has to stay, stay. Less, less any... Um, there you go. What's that one? That's less uh, any curses and stuff. It's not more than all. <laughs> you also get a little soul token there. Mm, well. Thank you kindly. Right. Don't forget, there's a plus one because of the lightning storm anyway. Yes. So I've got possibility of four. Where where's am little, I going? as little as one. Yes. Um, well, is this plus one optional, the lightning storm, yeah. or is it... Okay. I think I'm going to add a run for it to give me eight. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to go back door. Go. Oh, one. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. Torture chamber. Nice. Torture Risk chamber. It, Risk it. Oh, dear. Have you? Because I know there are certain cards that you can play in the torture card. chamber. I do have a card. Is it preserved head? Yes. <laughs> How did you right. know? Because it's it's the card I really wanted and I didn't get. I'm very annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, read it out for the kids at home. After entering and then drawing from the torture chamber, you may discard this card to draw two cards and choose one to keep from the dark tower. Yeah, so all the best mm. kits belongs in Vampire's master bedroom itself. Uh, However, I'll I let you turn that it. over and yes. see whether or not it's there and made an instant kills you. Implement. Oh, Suffer fun. six damage and six. move to the cemetery. Six damage is harsh. Like no, on. Wasn't it draw two and pick one? No. No, it's okay. after I draw this. Ah. Uh, oh, so you had to, you were a lucky boy. Uh, and also, until the beginning of my next turn, yes. the vampire yes. can enter the cemetery and bite a villain if their movement allows. Oh man, if anybody's in the kitchen who could throw themselves in the vault, as long as you've got more than five health, that you would could, be terrible. You could run on in there. That'd be great. Uh, do you want to cemetery yourself up then? Yeah, can do. Where's the cemetery? Uh, it's there. that big one at the bottom. It's where I belong. It is where you. One hundred percent is where Good you night belong. Mass. Do I still get my two dark targets? No, because you've you run that effect first before you do anything else. Bloody and unfortunately, Bloody. unfortunately, you got done oh, up like a kepper. Dear God! Oh he, man, he, did he burn oh. his shrunken head then? No. No, so you no, can try and sprint back. Yeah. Oh, I, I wouldn't. Rigged. On how many health are you? One. <laughs> yeah, I definitely wouldn't attempt to go back in the torture chamber. I'm it going was, to. It was risky earlier. Now it's just suicidal. Uh, right. Lloyd then. So it's Lloyd. What do I do? No, no, are so, we not going this way? No, 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 no he reversed it. He reversed oh, it a long yeah, time yeah. ago. Focus. <laughs> right, so Lloyd. So Lloyd, you are That's a little bit dead. Just a touch. Just a touch dead. However... As a revenant, you hunt. I'm this dead. You mm-hmm. do hunt the castle, and you have a chance to uh, resurrect. So we're going to play three cards. Yeah. If you get any doubles, yeah, then you get a choice uh, or of what's on your board there. Oh, so madness. we've got a madness, madness and death. Oh, can I play with madness? And another madness. <gasps> no, oh. no. Here is your push your luck time. You've got a double there. You've got madness, which will allow you to inflict yourself upon somebody using that ability. You could choose to replace one or both of these cards. And if you got a 666, you'd automatically resurrect. However, if you pull out another death card, that ends your your go and you don't get to inflict the madness ability. So Uh, I'm going to throw out the madness. What's the madness? Dish it out. Choose a villain or a vampire. The controlling player discards two of their cards from their hand. The player may the player may ignore this effect to advance your resurrection track by one for each card they choose to keep. I've only got the one card. Two from you. I've only got the one. I don't care. <laughs> I don't <lose. laughs> we, all right. we all know that's a lie. All right, yeah. so he gets to... Of those two, if I choose to keep two, he goes up two on his resurrection. Yeah. Yes. For every card you keep, I go up. All right, I will discard that. Mm. 
Look at this. Look at this cheating here. Just oh, sorry. But I, 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 I wasn't reading them. I just was. I, uh, I was just looking in that general direction. So I will discard one. Yes. And you can go up one on your resurrection. Mm, okay. Mm. Mm, it's like that. Is it? I right. think that one was pretty poo anyway. Well, if you say so. Right. Everybody's run away from me. This isn't fun. This game is dripping with atmosphere. I'm loving this. Why aren't you close to me so I can kill you to death? Oh, oh wait, we you, there's something about this. Yeah, yeah, I take a damage for that. Oh dear. That's all right. I've I've, I've got One. bloody. Ah, ah, ah. So I'll go down five. <laughs> and then I can go two, which would let me stand on a trap. And then I could move some. Where, where are you? I'm currently in the dungeon. Oh, way over there. But, mm. but don't worry about that. I think I will. Go two to stand on that. And then I will activate my face. Oh, shimmy shuffling. To uh, to move a couple of these. Oh, and so you stood in a trap and that's good for you. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to put a trap there. He's got that spider web thing. Uh, uh, move I have a little... Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> isn't it the... Uh, let's put another one. I'm surrounded. Put one there. Right. Okay. That's, that's all I can do. Right. Wonder Ore. Oh, five. Five on Castle ah, ah, ah. <laughs> takes away our lightning event. Does take away the lightning and replaces it with Requiem again. Oh. Requiem. Shuffle the torture chamber deck and then place a soul token back in the torture chamber and reveal a death knell card. Oh, so, I have to reveal another one. Yes. Um, obviously, if you are already death nailed out, then you don't get to reveal anything. Okay. So let's start off. I'll give you that to put that. in the torture. Uh -huh. Tor Tor and this goes back into the deck, and you may pick an unrevealed death nail card. That's kind of bad for us, because Jerry yeah. wins if he gets three. If, if he, he gets, gets three, three what? Three soul tokens. No, Jerry <laughs> wins if he gets three soul tokens and gets into oh, the okay. Dark Tower, which is a long way away. The creature. Everybody likes a creature in mm -hmm. the Black Lagoon. Uh, the villains entering the moat are slain. Oh, no, nobody's, trap doors are now bad. Oh. Nobody's ended up in the moat, yes. Where's the moat? The moat There's is all around, look. Oh, all the way around. And how do you end up in the moat? By falling into a pit trap. Oh. Which there may or may not be some of those around. Okay. Who, who can say? There should right. be a preponderance of them. Wait, uh, easy, just, tiger. Just, it's good. It's no, 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 I'm just still my straightening goal. up. Right, so I can move five. Yes. Yes. So I can go one, two, three, four, five. Yes. And kill him. What's the double arrows? If you have the weapon if for the room. If you have a weapon for the cemetery. Yeah. Oh, right. It has to be for the cemetery. It has to be, yeah. It's very or you specific. could go grab, become Mr. Vampy Vampire, and then go kill him. Okay. Well, so, yeah. All right, so hang on a second. Right, where is everybody? I'm currently in the torture chamber corridor. Uh -huh. I'm in the... Uh, the northwest wing, near the Great Hall and the bedroom. Are you in the corridor? Or the... I'm in the corridor. Yep. Okay. And Shay's loving life in the cemetery. Loving it. Where all the dead nuns live. It's... Right, so if I... Yes. I can move five, so... Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. But then I can't do anything. Shame. Hold on a minute, I've just realized something. He called you Captain Alpha Strike. Yeah. Yes. And what did he do? Alpha Strike. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Says the defensive commander over here, trying everything he could. Doesn't quite have the same ring to it. No, it does not. <laughs> it's a defensive. No, honestly, with the way she's been playing these days. Right. I know what I'm going to do. The defensive. Oh, no. Vampire. vampire time. Oh, it's time oh. to be a vampire. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, first off, you drop four health. <sighs> I didn't know that bit. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about that. One, two, three, four. Just a bit of me time. Right. I've dropped the four health. You will stay in there. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to set that card aside. Uh -huh. For the time being, for you are the vampire. I am the vampire! And you get three vampire cards to uh -huh. stock the halls with. So I can't 
use any of my old stuff now, can I? No. I'm, I'm literally just Dracula. At the end of every turn, unless uh -huh. you've done something that it commands you to do, generally bite people. Yes. Uh, you'll decrease your time tracker by uh -huh. one. If it gets to one, you need to finish your turn in the vault. Following turn, you just automatically die and there's oh, no okay. coming back. Look if you get back, back to the vault, then you get to take be, your be wanderer again. back yeah. again. So do I get to do anything as a vampire now? No. Mm. And his time tracker's where it needs to be. Time tracker's where it needs to be. Okay. That will be three in darkness. So I will Good. take a point of damage, yeah? Yes. And I will go, well, I'm kind of screwed up. You are. You're, whatever way you go, you're triggering a trap. You old laddie buck. I'm just going to have to accept it. Yep. So I will go here. It will stop my movement. It will stop your movement. What's that? Na, 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 na. Oh, unfortunately, you're slain. Oh, you're oh, joking. Okay. Goodbye. Hey. <laughs> well, hang on. That still counts as a, a secret door, doesn't it? Look, you're nope. trying to save yourself. Huh? That, counts as a, that counts as a trap. That's, That's a why trap. I put it there. But what's below it is the secret door. So it, would it count as the secret door? Nope. Look counts at that. Desperate, desperately trying to save himself. That, that is 100% why I put it there. Uh -huh. Good night. <laughs> so you go straight into the pit. Yes. And because you go straight into the pit, you end up in the moat. And because the death knell card So where do is... I put myself in the moat here? Oh, we'll, we'll get to that in a moment. Uh -huh. Because you end up in the moat, normally you can doggy paddle and try and get your way out of the moat. Oh, right. uh -huh. However, there's a monstrous creature of the deep yeah, in there who's yeah. slain. So your card, any souls you were carrying, plus a soul for yourself, all end up in the cemetery. And people going to the cemetery can attempt to oh. rescue those. Oh. <laughs> Likewise, you also become a haunt uh -huh. because we haven't reached the fall yet. <laughs> when all the death knells are triggered, you don't become a haunt anymore. Uh, so flip your board. That was a dirty trick, Jerry. Does well he played. flip a death knell? He does flip a death knell, but he needs to flip his board as well. Uh -huh. ah, yes. Does he become a floater now and just sort of float around the... Yeah. Oh, and I assume this because it was still on me goes there too. I don't know what that is. A uh, relic card? Yes. Yep. Yeah, Here, all your cards. Right. So I am now a haunt. Excellent. Well, we've known that for a while, really. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, what horrible terribleness am I giving to Infecting you, gentlemen? on the world. It is the Blood Moon. Oh. The vampire may add a d6 to their movement each turn. Oh. So you're now running d6 no, through the halls. You're running 3d6. 3d6, yeah. Oh. When it comes to you. Some, somebody's about to be the bitten kitten. Mm. Yeah, well, see. Mm. Off you go, son. But it's now my turn again, which means the vampire can no longer enter the cemetery. Yes. That's the card I got. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, thank you, God. You've managed to dodge that bullet. <laughs> thank God. I can't take any of his stuff right now, can I? Oh, you can. Oh, can. Well, no, you can. Can. Because you're in the cemetery. It's all there. How much of it can I take? You, you can take the lot. Pocket pocket everything. There's fin some very good stuff literally in there. Literally fill, fill your boots. Fill oh your nun boots. God, how much stuff did you have? Don't you? I still have all of his stuff. <laughs> Uh, oh well, honestly, there's a couple of very good cemetery cards there that you might want to play right now. Oh, uh, oh you know what? Actually, no, no, I won't. I'll let you go ahead. Okay, thank you, Jerry. <laughs> but I will, um, I'm going to refresh a talent token whenever a trap is triggered by a villain because my passive is mastermind. So I'll just refresh Spider's Web again. Right. I've got a few cemetery cards I think I'm going to play. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Because he had about seven. Wow. <laughs> um, Okay, I don't mind. No, I can't. I, can, <clears throat> I can't draw a card from the cemetery this turn. Can no, I? no. So I can't play that. That's fine. Correct. You can oh play God. talents and cards and stuff before you roll your movement dice and after you roll your movement dice. So do yeah. anything you need to do now before you leave. Oh, Just, we're not stopping for a pee once you get in the carriage. Yep. Yes, sir. Uh, we're all going to the zoo. Can you see the monkeys. Where did my? Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm just going to play this one to begin with. Yes. Refresh myself the talent token. Oh, there. So, first one gone. That's it for me. Uh, Captain Plant safe. You no know, fun anymore. And then I'm going to roll. Yes. Candle. One. And a candle. Ah, ah, ah. Oh no. No. Um. No. <laughs> now you have two ways out of there. Uh, yes. One is onto that lovely conveyor belt that will push you straight back in and yes. let you let you draw a cemetery card. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, but okay. we'll leave you in the cemetery. Yeah. And the other is very far away from the vampire. <laughs> <laughs> Those are your choices. And I'm not okay. sure which one I'd go for. Can the but... vampire trigger traps? No. 
Oh. No, you can just burn down the oh, corridor like some sort of whip it. Mm-hmm. Also, on your vampire cards you've got, you can either play them as abilities. Mm-hmm. So or they all, like, but they're all terrible. Stop looking. Half of them were mine. I know what they are. Oh, yeah. Distances and you can discard <laughs> from the distance. Okay. So this is why he's not allowed to go to Vegas. Okay. So. Oh. This is literally terrible, Jerry. Is it though? Uh, yeah, terrible. Uh, is I'm, it the worst thing that's ever happened to you? That would be room? the one. I'm going to run for it, I think. Just yeah. use that straight away. So I can move one, two, six all together. Good six. six. One, two, three, four. Five. Oh, yes. Next to a wild Jerry. Six. I mean, what are the chances I'm going to hit you with an axe? Hi, Jerry. Very, very slim, I, I imagine. You. you know I love you, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, that's, we that's, all do. That's me. That's great. That's Don't me. worry about it. That's me. It's all fine here. Mm-hmm. Lloyd, oh, it's time to see if the ghost arises. Will the ghost arise? My magic cards. Survey says vengeance. Yeah. Oh. Vengeance. Yeah. Oh. Death. You don't have to worry about this death because it's on your initial draw. But once again, you've the choice. You've already got a double vengeance down to well, slap somebody with. Uh, or well, my double vengeance. Let's just make it simple. Double vengeance. Don't try Advance your subjects. resurrection track by one. Yes. Oh. Born, but it was, you know. But it does the job. Bring me back to life. I assume he only gets to do the vengeance once. Yes. Okay. Oh, I'll do it twice if you want, Justin. There we go. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I'm, I'm just sitting here in the grave going, look what you made me do. Okay. Our survey says, dice me up, yeah. please. What do I need to get to butcher you where you stand? Um, Terrible nope. none. Nope. Four, Four or six. six. Nope. Three. Three. Oh, plus plus or minus two. Mm-hmm. Uh, just uh, just you want me to move it? me straight up beside it. Hello. And then, and then I'm just going to swing at you with my massive damage 10 axe okay. of doom. Do you have any, do you have a shield? Do you have no, a leather apron? Something better. Do you have anything to Dis- stop me killing you outright? Do I get one? Discard to ignore an yeah. attack made against you. <gasps> yeah. So you can take that and you can shove that. <laughs> You're no fun anymore. Your ancestral sword. <laughs> so many uh, guards. You've got That's a couple of water splats as well. I don't know what they're good for. Souls. Okay. That's, I mean, it stops <laughs> stops me killing you for this turn. For now, yeah. But I imagine, I imagine there's going to be a darkness a, thing yeah, coming. Yeah, there's a, a Warrenski coming However, with his 3D6 movement. A vampire oh. on the move. Can I move through rooms or no. do you stop a few Corridor rooms? only and you don't need to bother with the darkness dice. Oh. Let, me, let me get something straight. You can only attack people once you move up to them. Yes, unless you've got a ranged weapon. There are ranged weapons. So, 11. 11. So it's all like the Holy Grail where you just run and go, ha! And stick them with a something. That's it. You can't. Yes. You can't well, put them in any. Start from your no. one. All right. One, two, three, four. Ooh. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh! You, you can't use trapdoors. You can't. Oh, I can't you, use just, you don't interact with anything in the corridors at all. All right. Okay. You so just use Gordon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Do you have a card worth four that you could discard in your hand? Sorry, four or five or six. As far as bonus movement goes, how do, how do we know this? There's a little set of legs top right with a value that you can discard to move that many. Yeah, I have a five and a seven and a two. Well, if either a five or a seven would get you up to either of us in uh-huh. that corridor. Well, if I discard. I'll be <laughs> so, yeah, so you'll need to discard one of them and then either move up behind young. Young man or me. So if I play that five. Yes. Okay. You could move all the way up behind One, two, the nun. Behind the nun? Yes. And then you can go bitey bitey on the nun. Uh huh. How do I bite? Right. When uh, when moving on your turn, you may stop on an empty adjacent space to a villain and deal seven unblockable damage to them. Oh. Oh. Um, if uh, you deal one or more damage, increase your turn tracker by one. Yes. Or if you slay them, increase it by two. You have slain. Yes. Uh huh. I am dead as a door. So I can actually you go can push up that turns. up to seven. Yep. Go up seven. Yeah. Good. 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 Hey. So does hey. the vampire now get all shade cool stuff, off. or what happens to it? The well, the poor little nun is dead. Yeah. Poor old darkness nun, dead as Gaddis Bam. And because even though you are the vampire, you are still the character responsible for the killing. Uh huh. So you would get a soul token for the value of Shay to go uh-huh. 
plus all the stuff he was carrying. Theoretically, it lives with the Wanderer. Uh -huh. So it all comes down to whether they or not the Wanderer gets the Wanderer. Don't you get those his water splats? If he was carrying them, yes. Yeah. You get you get, yeah, you get the lot. So I have three oh, soul tokens now. And the entire armory. And all the stuff. <clears throat> and because you played a card, you also get a card at the end of your turn. Uh-huh. Can I play this if it's if it allows me to? If it allows you to. Well, no, you get it as the last thing on your turn. So I blame Justin for this. I know. So I don't. Fault. Okay. Well, one I more blame thing. him. We've one more thing for you to do anyway, though. So Right, so wait, I've got a, another card that I can't play. Play during your turn, mm. place this face up on top of any standard room deck until your next turn. Villains entering that room suffer five damage. Oh, that's yes. delightful. So your choice is any of these. Uh, did I say any room deck or any standard room deck? Any standard room deck. Okay, so things like... Is uh, the cemetery a standard room? If it has a cross on it, it's not a standard room. If it's just got a door, like mm -hmm. the cemetery, it's a standard room. So you're fine with cemetery, courtyard... Dungeon, Great Hall, Master mm. Bedroom, pretty it's much most room, of them, kitchen. except the except the Terrible Place and the Great Place yeah. are standard. So um, if I want to start kind of blocking off your options really now, is the... Uh, well, does it, does it do anything negative or does it just stop me from drawing or stop people from drawing? Uh, villains that enter the room suffer five damage. Right, in that case, if you put it into the cemetery, mm -hmm. it would force me back down the corridor. Mm -hmm. to get away from you. And my choices then are Torture Chamber, which is a hiding to nothing, and I don't want to go anywhere near that, mm -hmm. and the dungeon, or I just keep sprinting around the corridors desperately trying to avoid being eaten by the vampire. Yeah, your 3d6 me. movement. Yeah. So I think the cemetery. So the cemetery is probably the best place yeah, to, that's, that's what I thought. to annoy my happiness. No! So, and that stays there until somebody draws that, so that's mm -hmm. all filth. Last thing then, hey. The Death No. I'll let you read it out. Oh, is it the one kills the vampire or something? No. Helter Skelter. Oh, villains oh, who enter the Beatles first heavy metal song ever. Yeah. Yeah. Villains who enter the Great Spiral Staircase are slain. So oh, straight, this, straight to death. This includes mm -hmm. villains currently inside. Reveal another Death Knell card if possible. Can't. They're no. all, They're all out now, man. Now, all that, the bad horribleness. That does mean we've entered the fall. So at the end of every turn, people take damage. Oh. <laughs> and I believe there's no resurrection mm -hmm. on the fall oh. either. Mm -hmm. So nobody's nobody's being unghosted. So it's between you two? Yeah, wow. but you can still annoy people's happiness by throwing out damage and taking cards away. Mm -hmm. But really at this point, poor old, well, it's very, it's very apt. Peter Cushing is now being chased around Dracula's castle by Dracula. So it makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> um, he screwed over earlier in this production. Yeah. Uh, is coming after. So we'll start the bidding with Justin. Yeah. Our survey says six. six. Vengeance. Vengeance. Oh, Vengeance. I, I would laugh if this triggered it. I've shuffled all the way back again, haven't I? I have. I've managed to reshuffle. You could push your luck, but there's no point unless you want something other than Vengeance. Oh, I want something other than Vengeance. Because so, all Vengeance does is push me up on res, and I'm okay. not allowed to res. So... What are you getting rid of? Two Vengeance or one uh, death? Well, it, it doesn't really matter at this point, but presumably you want to remove one of these. Yeah. So you've got a Blood. <gasps> blood. And Death would normally push you back on the tracker, but in this case it just ends. I will take the Blood. You won't take anything. You need doubles and uh, uh, drawing, an additional, ah, see. drawing an additional death. <laughs> so you I should pay attention to Jerry more. Yeah. Yeah. This is a life lesson I've just learned. I'm not going to do that because it's not going to have any effect. I'm going to do nothing instead. Mm -hmm. At all. <laughs> sure. You can do nothing yes. as well. You lost two. Oh. Well, he was the first loser. Let's yeah. Like that. <laughs> the blood, blood chain. Blood, yep. Vengeance. Okay. And vengeance. Let's replace those vengeance. Replace one of. Yes. With madness. Oh. And then replace. Can he play with madness? He can he play with madness? <laughs> this is the question we all ask. So now, do you want? You can push your luck again, but your choices are to replace any of those. Which one would you like to replace? Vengeance. Vengeance. And even our blood. Come on, Jerry. Oh no, you suck. Oh. You're the worst. Oh. Just the absolute it's worst. Terrible. Um, no, I'll leave that six there. I'll need that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not allowed to resurrect now. Why not? 
Because we're into the fall. Yeah, we what? all lose. Oh, you should you, listen to Jerry. Why am I still here? <laughs> it's it's like I'm screaming into the void, or the great spiral staircase. Well, we are we are in hell, so whichever is easiest. Both are available. Oh, so there's no point in resurrecting. You can't resurrect, but yeah. you can just mess with other people. Oh! I feel like I've said this before. You have deja vu, glitch in the matrix, madness, <laughs> vengeance. <laughs> well, you, should to, you should go to Vegas. Are you shuffling these? Yes. <laughs> Just watch me shuffle. All right, them. let's get rid of the, the. Let's get rid of vengeance. Yes. You've got a madness. Yeah, two madness. You just stop there. I would just stop there. There's no point in going. Yeah, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to do something with it. So, what's the madness let you do? Choose a villain or a vampire. The controlling player discards two of their cards in their hand. And the player may ignore this effect. The player may then ignore this effect to advance your resurrection, but it makes yeah. no real difference. I'll have two of your cards. Two so of my cards out of my hand. Tell you what, you won't be taking. You won't be taking my axe. Well, you can <laughs> just ignore it because you can't res. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, you so it does nothing because we can't res. That's fine. That's a loophole <laughs> in this game. <laughs> that's uh, that's all fine. We're all fine here. Post ruled. I can resurrect. There we go. This has the game fixed again. <laughs> just want to make sure <laughs> that I have things that are worthwhile. You don't need to. I eh? like literally just yeah, do that. Uh, one. Just well, just just calm you, calm down. You're always making me stress. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what was in my hand. Okay, we good. We happy. Yes, we're good. Sure, all ghost. You suck. I'll do two with you. Oh, I'd like the so am I going up to then? Well, oh, you can uh, do whatever you want there, yeah. I still want to be the winner of the track. <laughs> you be the winner. You be all that right. you can be. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, so I can go not far enough, uh, I think what? is the answer there. <laughs> two, two old spaces away from uh, Dracula. Which way would you like to go? I think. Can you hit me with your axe? Wait, wait. Easy. Easy, Tiger. Oh, just you just take your hand away from me. Now. Don't touch me. <laughs> Don't touch me. I am going to start by. Now, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to use my Holy Cross. Oh, oh look, there's the Holy Cross you wanted earlier on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, to repel you d6 inches away, mm -hmm. Mr. Quampire. That's fine, yeah. So, our survey says you can go five, five. directly away down that corridor uh -huh. as far as you can. So one, two, three, four. Excellent, that's a good start. Mm -hmm. And that also reduces your turn tracker by one as that well. That's fine, yeah. So hopefully that'll bleed you out a little bit. That was in the master bedroom. Well, I'll throw it there for the time being. Mm -hmm. No. No, with my mighty two. Can I get away from you? I don't think I can. I'm going to use that salt token mm -hmm. that I got from earlier to refresh run for it. Mm -hmm. Please, little Fiat, please. Which now lets me go... A mighty six, two, four, five. Oh, oh. I'm just going to go past the dungeon. Past two, the dungeon. Three, four, five, six to there, Jerry. Yes. Happy with that? No, but that's what I can do. So mm -hmm. that's what I'll have to do. And then, filthy vampire, I believe it's your turn. Okay. Because there's no else I can do, and I can't even bop you upside of the head with anything. I've just discovered that this is this works perfectly. Oh, yes. parole. Because the next time, if you go to discard cards and I'm at the top of my tracker, I can't go any further, so you can't discard any more cards. That'll teach me. <laughs> so nine. Nine. Uh. Now you're saying, if you can, you can only discard one card for a run, by the way. You had a seven in your hand, didn't you? Yes. So 16 spaces. Two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, oh, you only, so, need, you only need the one to get up to me. Oh, I need one to get up to you? only need one, yeah. Oh, oh no, no, hang on, sorry, you need three. Oh, I no, need nine. three? Yeah. Oh, but that's okay. To get you up to the 12. So I can I can use one of these again. Yeah, yeah. So um, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. So, one, oh. <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm. And then if I discard that four. Yes. That gets me up to here. That gets you up to there, and then you can bite me. It's nom nom time. <laughs> How many damage does the bite do? Is seven? Seven? Yeah, seven unblockable seven damage. Seven unblockable damage. Oh. 
Yeah. Oh my god. I have lovely rosary beads, but they, they stop me becoming a vampire. They uh -huh. don't stop me being bitten up by the vampire. Filth wizard. I believe I believe you win. Yay! Do all, I have to get back to the Yeah, but th there's nothing to stop you now, so uh, so you you'll slay me. Went up to eight, which uh -huh. you'll push so up you to eight. You've got eight. Eight, yeah. eight, eight turns to very slowly make your way back yeah. to the vault. <laughs> Yeah, unless you roll like triple ones eight times in a row. Uh, He's always got cards to discard. Don't worry, yeah, Dracula yes, is alive. I have seven there just to get me there. And, or yeah. dead and loving it, depending mm -hmm. on your point of view. Bloody hell. Thank goodness Halloween's only once a year. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well, it is for you. The rest of us, unfortunately, are doomed. You doomed. did that. He did that. It's his fault. <laughs> she did it. What? <laughs> Actually, Put it into a Spider-Man meme here. <laughs> you did it all. It was all down to you. So there we have it. That is damnation, the gothic game. And the worst part is, tomorrow night when the sun sets in hell, we'll all be resurrected back in this filthy castle, slaughtering each other again, over and over until time itself ends. There we have it. I hope you've enjoyed it and enjoy your Halloween <laughs> wherever you are. <laughs> <laughs> We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.